how difficult is the Watkins path? That's a question I see asked a lot on forums online and people that I've met on the mountains. Well, let's go and find out. So on this particular route, I'm already three quarters away up the Watkins path. And up until now, it's been fairly straightforward hiking. I wouldn't even describe it as scrambling, just hiking. But this is the section which people fear the most. This is where the path starts to disappear. It's exactly at this point, this precise point, where the path kind of disappears. As you can see, a little further up, it spreads into several different routes. All of them are across loose scree, loose stone. And if I pan the camera around, you can see that navigation can be an issue in the cloud. So here, visibility is probably 50 meters, 60 meters. You can just about see a couple of mountain tops in the distance. Heading up to the Watkins Path here on this section, this is where I've seen a few people turn around and come back down and it's almost always been when, on days like this when the cloud rolls in it's very easy to get lost, I mean the path literally just disappears right in front of you see there isn't just one path going up we've now got about half a dozen different paths all heading roughly in the same direction there's also some well-worn routes taking a more direct route up to Snowdon it's very easy if you're not familiar with the route to get lost that's why I'd recommend coming up here on a fine day when you've got better visibility that said we can take any of these routes up they all bear slightly to the right you won't go too far wrong. Just don't go too far to the left. That gives you an idea of the terrain that you're up against on the upper section of the Watkins Path. And how difficult is the Watkins Path? Well, it's certainly steeper than the Miners Track. It's definitely steeper than the Pig Track. It's not technically challenging there's a lot of loose rock as you can see mostly just loose rock everywhere a little bit steeper I think the biggest issue is navigation that's the one issue that causes people to turn back is your navigation as you can see and this is actually starting to clear you can see I'm above the clouds now before that was above me so now I'm above the cloud base, just about. And yes, that is an absolutely gorgeous view. And you can probably just about make out the path. And that's the Watkins path down there. So yes, it is one of the more difficult paths up Snowdon, 
it's not technically challenging lots of loose rock a little bit steeper but mostly it's navigation that's the problem Well, I hope at the very least this footage gives you an idea of what you'll be up against should you decide to come up here. As you can see, the weather's clearing nicely now. Visibility's improved, so it's much easier to navigate now. I just wanted to highlight the sort of ground conditions that you can expect i mean if you look down at my feet lots of loose, loose rocks and loose scree if you look to the left you can see there's a lot of a grass and a lot of heather on that area so if you're on the top section of the watkins path and you find yourself on anything other than this type of rock you're probably well off track and you'll need to backtrack to get back onto this sort of terrain as you can see the green areas you really want to stay off of that that's where you're likely to slip and it's a long way down so it's just a case of staying on the well-worn route but obviously in poor weather conditions it's easy to lose the route it isn't one single well-defined path as you can see it's lots of different paths going in all different directions hence why some people struggle so if you just stay on what looks like a well-worn route and try and stay away from the grassy areas you're pretty much going to make your way up to the top without too many problems Now, if you haven't veered too far off track by this point, you'll reach this path, which was laid about two years ago. And this really makes the last final 100 meters to the top of the Watkins Path a pretty straightforward trek. This used to be quite a challenging section of the route, but with the path now put in, it's very straightforward. I really hope you've enjoyed the short video. The purpose, obviously, is just to give you a taste of what, like, of what the Watkins path is like on the top section where people struggle sometimes. So in a nutshell, it's not technically difficult. Lots of loose stones, a little bit steeper. The main issue is navigation when you have cloud cover like this. So if you're not sure, Take a good day, good visibility. I don't think it really matters if it's wet or not. It's not particularly slippery in terms of slime on the rocks. That's pretty much it. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, hit the like button. You'll be doing me a massive favor. I'm Dan, I'm the Bull Scrambler, and I'm going up to the top of Snowdon. See ya.